so far we have created parts and then we moved to property module and created some materials right I demonstrated uh, how to create material for steel in similar fashion I have created concrete okay if you wanna do edit just click on edit and you can see what uh, uh, properties I have defined for the material okay the next thing we will define a composite section for uh, our slab okay so uh, we can assign thickness and material to the this uh, cell slab so uh, let's click on composite manager create this number represents the number of layers you have in the composite uh, material okay so uh, we have three layers concrete steel and concrete so I will select three you can name it this uh, layup I will keep it as default or uh, let's say I name it concrete steel composite okay that's it then next continue okay this window appears you can some put out some description or whatever you think here the main thing is here okay this this one so ply 1 is the top layer ply 2 is the middle layer ply 3 is the bottom layer okay great so let's ply 1 let's rename it we will call it concrete right the next thing is steel the last one is concrete okay right let's select the reason for concrete okay uh, this means that in what reason concrete has been has to be assigned okay so uh, just double click on this tab and you will be directed to the viewport select the reason for concrete okay so I have to you know we need to select all these this whole reason because I need to uh, assign concrete the whole reason from the top and then whole reason in the middle and the whole reason in the bottom okay at the bottom so I just selected that just click on done look at this picked okay in the similar fashion steel also steel also has to be assigned similar way and then last one is concrete okay now pick material so uh, for the concrete concrete for steel select steel concrete again select concrete okay this is good now thickness for concrete we have 0 0.05 and the next one is also 0 0.05 meter just remember that you're using uh, everything in psi units i think this has to be also very fine let's uh, put angle 0 and angle 0 angle 0 okay uh, so basically this rotation angle is uh, uh, denotes that how uh, the concrete and steel uh, and then concrete the three layers fiber are you know uh, aligned with respect to each other or with respect to some uh, coordinate system okay so uh, zero angle uh, uh, zero angle denotes that every fiber is aligned to in the same direction okay I will show you what did this mean okay uh, let's click on okay right now ply name must be unique with a composite layup okay I have name it with the uh, same name I need to change the names this I top H 
change to the term and then this looks bottom now it should be fine I think yes here we go so we have just assigned you know uh, the material and the sec uh, sections so this part has been now converted to the composite it's not looking like that but it is there okay uh, let's there is a way to uh, see this also so let's click on tool and query and then apply stack plot okay now select the part and you will see okay this is this is uh, how composite looks this uh, inside this is how this part looks uh, when zoomed to the layers okay so now the zero angle in the uh, composite section definition means this one these layers are this these lines are aligned to the same aligned to the same direction right so that is meant by zero angle if you let's say if, if you um, uh, if, if you uh, just uh, assign zero and then 90 and zero then one of them will be uh, 90 degree to the others okay just try out and see how it looks like okay so uh, in the research purpose in research purpose uh, you might need to change the alignment of these fibers for uh, this uh, tutorial I will not change that I will keep it at I will keep it as it is okay so you can you can play around with that okay now I will uh, close this viewport I will keep it as and uh, this is it so this is how we uh, define a composite composite section and assign to the part